For real. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. That way. Well, hello and thank you for joining me here today on my channel. My name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK. If you don't already know me, guys, thank you so much for joining me here today. Sending you lots of love subscribers old and new i appreciate you and love you so much so today's video i'm going to be sharing with you 10 super succulent juicy perfumes that are perfect for this time of the year but they're also perfect for any time of the year because let's face it just wear what you want when you want, rock it in the winter, in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, whatever. It's up to you because perfume is subjective. So I love a fruity note in my perfumes. I like that mouth watering, juicy vibe sometimes. You know, you don't always want to be super seductive and sexy, although some of these fruity perfumes can be sexy. But sometimes you just want that fresh, fruity, flirty vibe you know and that's what we're going for today actually I'm just looking in the camera right now I think I've overdone it on the bronze goddess look here but you know I'm trying to switch it up and yeah I hope it's not blinding you so let's get into it so the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this one and this is Armani C Intense. This is the 2021 version. I know they previously had a version of this and it came in a black bottle. I didn't smell that one so I don't know what that one's like but guys this one, this is just like a punnet of black currants you know like it is very fruity, it is slightly woody, slightly spicy, it's ambery, it's quite sweet, it's very, very juicy. It's syrupy, okay? So you have to like that kind of sticky sweet vibe to like this one. But to me, this is very elegant. It's quite classy, it's long lasting. It's my favorite of the C's that I've tried so far. And yeah, I'm really enjoying that one. So that is C Intense. Next up, a favorite of mine, and this is Angel Nova. Guys, oh, I love this. I have to spray it. I adore this. This is lychee, this is raspberry. It's so juicy and so refreshing. Like you can almost taste the lychee and the raspberries when you spray this. It's rosy. I know some people have compared this to Delina because it has similar notes. To me, it doesn't smell anything like Delina and I'm glad because I like Delina as well and I like having this as well. This is nothing like Original Angel so if you don't vibe with Original Angel but you want to try something in the Angel line go for this one. This is a stunning fragrance. So many compliments on this one. Perfect for this time of year and it's just really juicy and fruity and refreshing. So I wanted to include something for all budgets in this list. So I have designer, I have niche and I have some affordable fragrances and one such affordable fragrance which I absolutely love is this one and this is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. Guys, this is so succulent, like I love this one. For me, the star of the show in this is the gorgeous plum that you get in this. There is other fruits in this. There's sour cherry and there's raspberry. You can really smell the sour cherry, but for me, as I say, I think the plum is what really takes over. There are some floral notes in this. There's also some vanilla, which makes it very sweet and smooth. This is playful, this is girly, this is very young. It's quite sexy, I would wear this of an evening. It's beautiful, it's very affordable, it's pretty good at lasting. And yeah guys, if you haven't smelt this one, give it a try. So next up is one of my favorite ever fruity perfumes and it is this one and this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now to me people either love or hate this one and I'm in the love category. I love how it smells okay. Forget the performance. I'm not even talking about the performance. I'm talking about how it smells. So it's that 
boozy, almondy, sweet cherry with vanilla. It's just so gourmand, it's so edible. I just love how it smells. It has that addictive character to it. It's intoxicating. It's everything you would want in a cherry-based perfume. Like, you couldn't ask for more. As far as I'm concerned, it smells straight up like cherry bakewell. Like, it, you just wanna eat it, you know? It's not beast mode but it does perform on my skin, it does hang around. I know a lot of people say it doesn't project that well. Fair enough, but sometimes you just get a perfume because you like the way it smells. And for me, I love the way this one smells. Guys, forgive me if I'm sweating. It is so hot here today, like literally it is baking. Sorry, I shouldn't say sweating, I should say glowing, because ladies, we don't sweat, do we? We glow. Okay, so if I'm glowing a bit, forgive me, it is really hot, and obviously I can't have the fan on, otherwise you would hear the fan. But anyway, this next one, oh, love it. It's Meliora by Parfums de Mali. I've spoken about this one on my channel before. I absolutely love this one. I like this one more than I like Delina. Not Delina exclusive, because that's my favorite from Parfums de Mali, but this one comes a close second. Guys, this is so elegant, so sophisticated, so ladylike, like literally it's, oh, so beautiful. It's clean, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's juicy. You get red berries, you get black currant, you get cassis. I think there's some floral notes in it. Maybe Lily of the Valley, I think, is in this one. And you do get that subtly in the background, but mostly you get that beautiful burst of berries. And guys, this, as I said, it's so beautiful. Like this would be the perfect wedding scent in my book. It really is gorgeous. So if you haven't smelt this one, give it a try. This next one, again, I've mentioned before on my channel, but I love it. And it is Olympia Legend. Guys, oh, this is a unique fragrance, okay? This is sweet, salty, juicy, vanilla. There's apricot in this, there's plum in this. Oh, guys, let me tell you, I get so many compliments when I wear this because this is such a projector, okay? Everyone can smell you when you wear this, and plus, it smells divine. Like, it smells so edible, so juicy. Like, it literally makes your mouth water. That apricot, oh, this is the most beautiful apricot y perfume I've ever smelled, okay? That combined with the saltiness in this, it just makes it so gorgeous. Like, it's not like anything else I've ever smelled. It really is a different kind of smelling perfume. So if you wanna stand out from the crowd and smell slightly different, and people are gonna look at you and think, hmm, she smells good, what is that? And you're probably gonna get asked, what is that? Because I do whenever I wear this. And I have a backup bottle. If you've seen my video where I talk about the ones I have backups of, this is one of them because I never wanna be without this, so yeah. Olympia legend. Next one is this beautiful one here, and this is Artemisia by Penhaligons. Guys, the bottle itself, just so, so stunning. This is such a gorgeous, powdery, violety, musky, fruity floral. This has nectarine in the top, which when you first spray this, you really do get the nectarine. It's very, very powdery, so you have to like those powdery, musky type scents. Guys, I can almost taste this, this is so gorgeous. This dries down to a beautiful, soft, vanilla-y fragrance. It is so, so stunning. This is kind of bougie, this is fancy, like you feel really fancy when you're wearing this. It's kind of romantic, it's regal, you just, Feel yourself when you're wearing this, that's all I can say. But yeah, try this one out guys, it is beautiful. This next one is another affordable one and it is Pink Sugar Berry Blast. Guys, this has so many fruits in it, okay? This has blueberry, this has strawberries, this has cherries, this has orange, this has blackberry, it has cotton candy, it has caramel. This just 
like this is tooth decay in a bottle okay but for me the most prominent note in this is the blueberry like yeah you just get oh my god this smells so good like i'm spraying this now i haven't sprayed this for a while this is gorgeous okay i don't like the original pink sugar but i love this because i don't have any perfumes i don't think that has blueberries in that combined with the cotton candy and the caramel if you like sweet trust me don't look no further if you like sweet if you like fruity and you're looking for an affordable option this is pretty good for lasting as well and it just smells lovely it's playful it's young it's not juvenile but it is young but who cares any age can wear any perfume as far as i'm concerned but yeah i love this so pink sugar berry blast next up is one that will always be in my collection because i love it so much and it is this one it is la belle la parfum oh, what can i say about you i love you first of all you are gorgeous you are stunning and you are juicy okay this is just juicy baked syrupy pear it has smooth vanilla in it it is just mm, it's sexy okay this is sexy this is one sexy fruity perfume mm, so seductive so mouth-watering you can literally taste that pear the tonka bean and the vanilla gives it such a beautiful smoothness this is deep i wouldn't say it's particularly dark but it's a deep fragrance it's quite thick it's quite heavy but it is very juicy very syrupy very sweet as i said very seductive and sexy sensuous this is one of those manny perfumes men like this type of fragrance and yeah i absolutely love it i will always always have this one in my collection okay so last but not least and i'm sure this one won't come to you as any surprise whatsoever and it is this one, La Via Belle Intensement, or Entensement, if you can speak French. I can't, but anyway. Yeah, guys, oh, this is predominantly raspberries, vanilla, jasmine. Oh, I love this. This is so versatile. That's what I like about this. It's sweet, it's juicy, it's girly. This is everything you need in like an everyday signature scent type perfume. You can wear this day, night, date night, shopping, coffee with your mates, shopping, whatever you wanna do, this perfume will take you there. It's so sweet, so juicy. It's just scrummy, yummy. This is good for summer. This is good for all year round, to be honest. Like, this is quite a heavy fragrance. It lasts on the skin for ages. It's a compliment getter. I think, again, men like this one. And yeah, I just don't think you can go wrong with any of the La Via Belle perfumes. As you know, I'm a fan of La Via Belle. I'm a fan of Lancome as well. So yeah, I had to include this because the raspberries in the top of this one are just, mm, they're so beautiful. You just can't go wrong. Yeah, this is my baby. So guys, I didn't want to make this video super long. So I kind of ran through those perfumes because otherwise we could be talking for ages. And you know what? The sun is out. I need to get myself outside, get some rays on me and just enjoy the rest of the day, which I hope you guys do too. And before you go, please consider subscribing. I would be so, so grateful. I am very grateful for all my new subscribers. I notice you and I am very, very appreciative. So guys, look after yourselves until next time and comment down below. Let me know if you've got any of these perfumes, if you like any of them, or if there's any other fruity perfumes that you can recommend for me. That would be amazing. So